Introduction to Big Data. You're preparing a report on the 20 most popular gym equipments used around the world to help your company decide the best equipment to purchase for the office gym. When you do a Google search, you find yourself staring at multiple pages of search results. These results include wordy articles, pictures, videos, and statistics. You even see links to Facebook posts and Twitter feeds. So, how do you decide what's relevant to you? There is so much data available, and even though you would like to go through them all, you have very little time. In fact, you have just about an hour. Imagine you had a tool that could analyze all this data and give you just the information you need. In this video, you will learn about big data and its role in decision making in enterprises. Now, consider this. If one Facebook post gets 10 likes and 5 comments per day, and there are several hundred posts every day, the data that's being generated is huge. The collection of such large amounts of data is referred to as big data. This data could come from Google, Facebook, or Twitter. It could even come from your organization's databases or even your own personal computer. All this data, if sorted, filtered, and analyzed, can produce usable information which can be a key input for decision-making. Thus, even Facebook posts may actually help you find the best gym equipment for your organization. Big data is characterized by the three V's, volume, velocity, and variety. Volume, obviously, is the amount of data generated. For example, Twitter generates about 80 megabytes per second. Velocity is the speed at which data is generated and processed. eBay, for example, analyzes 5 million transactions per day in real time to address frauds arising from the usage of PayPal. Variety indicates the different types of data being generated. The differences could be because of the sources from which this data is captured or because of the form it's available in. Data may be available in structured, semi-structured, or unstructured form. You will learn more about variety of data in the next segment. Now that you know what big data is and understand its characteristics, let's see how much you recall. If you selected originality, you are right. Volume, velocity, and variety are the three characteristics of big data. Let's now look at the three sources of big data, social data, machine data, and transactional data. Social data is obtained from social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter. Machine data, on the other hand, is the information generated from radio frequency identification, or RFID tags. Location data, such as RFID chip readings and GPS output, are examples of such data. Transactional data, as the name suggests, is data generated through transactions. The data that got generated when you ordered a pizza is an example of transactional data. Now that you know about the sources of big data, let's check how much you can recall. If you have selected photos uploaded on Facebook, you are right. An invoice would be an example of transactional data, while the ERP data would be machine data. Big data, as you just saw, is a well of information available to businesses. Let's look at one example of how businesses use big data. All businesses hire people for different positions. Most professionals have a profile or resume up on some job portal, and businesses have access to these profiles. When all this data is filtered and analyzed, your business is able to employ the right people. The professional networking site LinkedIn is a good example of this. Customer Relationship Management, or CRM for short, is another important process in business operations. Any business will run only if it has customers to use its products and services. Customers, upon using these products and services, will then provide feedback, which, in turn, will help the business improve or modify its products and services. Again, all this data generated from CRM is huge, is generated at a high speed, and varies in its source and content. 
and all of it is stored somewhere in the company database. This data is vital since future business decisions will depend on it. Let's do a quick recap of what you've learned in this session. Big data may be defined as a pool of large-sized data sets used to capture, store, search, share, transfer, analyze, and visualize related information or data within an acceptable elapsed time. This data is not only voluminous, but is also being generated at high speeds and is varied. This volume, velocity, and variety of data are the characteristics of big data. Social, machine, and transactional data are the various sources of big data.